Hi, so I know the lighting's horrible. I don't have the lights around. The angle's bad. It's a night. Worst thing ever. But I'm mentioning this because if I don't, I'm going to forget it. One, when you're watching CNBC, and I'll expand on this in a, later, when you're watching CNBC, don't assume that they know what they're talking about. And don't assume that the people that they are interviewing are the best, right? They're journalists, right? They're journalists and their job is to come up with news, right? Just like the, just like it's ABC and everyone else, they're journalists and their job is to come up with news, interesting news. And because they're under investments in finance, they have to come up with that. They know very little. And because they know very little, and because they do actual, little actual research, proper, proper research, and it's more about the news and breaking stories, they have to kind of drag out whatever it is, whatever story they're trying to come up with. And that generally leads to, if you listen carefully to them, a lot of hypotheticals that they come up with, and a lot of ifs and maybes and could haves and would haves etc because there's less actual facts and more hypotheticals for breaking stories it's a news network now why am i mentioning this today is the second of may workers day and i generally don't even have some sort of cnbc these days but today i did right i had time luckily uh, i had some tv time and it was sad to listen to the anchor say, you buy when it's green. No, you buy when it's red. No, it's green. No, no, it's red when, when you're momentum trading, right? I'm sitting there thinking, it's not something that should be confusing you. And it's not a question you'd want to ask. Because it's both and it's neither. And if you're confused as to what the hell I'm on about, go back to uh, the 2nd of May um i think it was squawk box which was like in the afternoon and and you watch it forgot that guy the guy who just almost never shuts up who gets into people's who, who breaks conversations with the blonde hair that that the more the annoying guy that 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 was him he he when you're speaking he'll cut you off and all that stuff so just check it out for yourself but the point is as an anchor that's that's something if you're in finance, that's something you should at least know. The difference between momentum trading and and long-term investing and shorting, etc. That's not something that should be confusing you. I get that it was a mistake, but it just kind of exposed the fact that you're still confused by a few basics. It's not just to confuse you or to expose him, but rather to expose what I've mentioned in what I've mentioned in the past, which is news channels are news channels. Financial news channels are news channels that look at finance. Doesn't mean they know much about it. Cheers.